what is good bro welcome to the video if you are new to this channel make sure you do yourself and me a favor subscribe and join the tribe and if you've been tuned in then you already know the vibe man thank you so much for coming back listen i know it's been a hot minute since i posted a video <clears throat> and man i'll tell you this there's been a lot going on since the last time i checked in with you first things first though i hope you've been taking good care of yourself Yeah, look at all this nature. You know what I'm saying? I'm back in Southern California. It is a beautiful place. It is a beautiful place. Matter of fact, before I even go down, I'm about to go to this. I'm about to go to the gym. But I'm gonna take you guys on this pathway right here. Take you on a walk with me real quick. Come walk with me, listen. A lot's been going on since the last time I checked in with you. A lot's been going on since the last time I posted a video. Man, I literally just came <clears throat> back from New York. Feel me? I was flying, traveling through space and time and all of that. I was gone for about a week. I didn't do much documenting or filming or recording or anything like that. No vlogging, really, when I was in New York. Primarily because I was with my family. So I, I just had a lot going on. And I was, you know, there's been some personal things going on. And, uh, damn, let me find out a good spot to put this. Fuck, I'm gonna hold it. Hey, yeah, man, I just didn't have, you know, I didn't have kind of like a an ideal situation set up where I could just film and vlog. I had so much stuff going on. So, anyways, appreciate y'all for, you know, waiting around for me to drop another video. And when I say that there's a lot been going on, what I mean is, you know, life man life is unpredictable you know we gotta understand this you, there's things that we can't control and there's things that we can't control you know i've been having a lot of epiphanies lately i've been having a lot of realizations lately god has been speaking to me and through me and you know It's up to you to put your life together. Almost as if it's a big puzzle. And it's your job to put all the pieces together. And connect the dots. See, I mean, I, got, I even got a tattoo of a puzzle piece. And then inside of it, I don't know if you guys can see this, is the universe. I've had this. And the reason I have it is because exactly what I'm saying to you. It's like... You're a, piece of the, you're a piece of the puzzle. You're a piece of the universe. You matter, right? The reason I got that tattoo is pretty much to remind myself constantly that, you know, there is a bigger picture, right? There is a grand picture. There is a world image, right? A world view, right? And we all play a piece, right? We all play a part of the picture, right? It's your job to play your part. Otherwise, the world technically or the picture it won't be complete, right? So remember, it's up to you to do your part. Play your part of the picture, <laughs> right? So if you picture the world, you know understand that you matter and you fit in right you can you can impact it and you can make a difference now if you feel like you don't fit in and we've talked about this before you don't have to fit in but you still matter okay you know a lot of things i've been realizing lately and this video is going to be sort of random but i'm just taking this time to you know get things off my chest and get you guys caught up with where i've been at what i've been thinking <laughs> And what I've been going through. <clears throat> so, damn, I gotta find a better. <laughs> anyway, but this is straight. Let me take you guys out a walk out here a little bit more. So, it's like number one, bro. You have to you have to take the time to take the time, right? You gotta take time to, and make time, right, for yourself, for your loved ones, for the people who care about you, your support system. It can be easy to get caught up in the hype of the world, you know, money chasing the dream, the fast life, right? And the next thing you know, you miss something or you miss somebody right so just remind yourself constantly to be present be present be present be present be here be now appreciate it embrace it okay some of the epiphanies i've had lately i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say them straight out like this out loud because they hit me sort of randomly too so i don't i don't feel a need to structure them in the video and any type of 
sequential order, bro. Just spread love. You understand me? Your goal is to spread love and to be loved and to be light and to help people and uplift people. Only speak words of kindness. Only speak words of purity. Only speak words of love. Period. That's simple. If you don't have anything positive to say, if whatever you're about to say is not uplifting or motivating or godly, ultimately, then don't even speak. Period. That should be easy. Trust me. Your words are so powerful. The words are like the sword, bro. If you have things going on in your life and you start emitting words that are negative, right? Bro, your words will shape your whole reality. Your words will shape the reality around you and the people's reality around you. So be careful with your word. Watch what you say. Be mindful of what you say. I'm telling you, the words that you use will literally change your life. If you start using better words, your life will become better. If you start improving your vocabulary, I promise you that your lifestyle will become enhanced. Just based off of the words that you're just selecting and then therefore you're attracting different energies. I'm telling you, bro, this is not a cap. This is no joke. This is real information I'm giving it to you. So just be careful of you know, your, your conversations out loud and with yourself. Right? So only speak, again, just only speak words of, of purification, meaning that like you want to be a pure soul. You want to be a pure person. You don't want to have guilty conscience, guilty spirit, guilty energy. Or, you know, you don't want to have shame. You don't want to have any type of negative feelings or emotions running through you. You want to feel pure. All right? You want to feel peace of mind. You want to feel serenity. You want to feel grace. You want to feel patience. And at ease, right? Not disease, right? If you think about the word disease, like a disease is nothing but being uneasy. Like, if, you're, if you have a disease, you're basically in a state of dis-ease. So we all pray for ease, man. I pray that your life becomes ease and easy, right? I want your life to be easy, man. Not saying that, you know, things are always going to be simple. But life is pretty simple, bro. Take it easy. You ever heard that phrase? Take it easy. Just take it easy, bro. Life is not that difficult if you really think about it. It's not that hard. And it's not that complicated to, to, to become successful and, and to master yourself. You have to believe in yourself first and foremost. Believe in yourself. You were chosen, you're selected, you're here, you matter, right? I'm talking about these facts because you guys got to realize. No, let, me, let me just put this down so I can focus. You guys got to realize this. You could do anything you want to do in this life. Oops. <clears throat> and I missed my pocket. <laughs> and you got to basically understand that and believe that but if you don't believe that then it won't happen for you whatever you thinking won't happen it's all about what you believe so i just came back from new york it was a good time though you know what i mean i had uh, a lot of time to think and reflect i had a lot of time to kick it with my family like i was saying kick it with my girl show her around different new places it's always crazy going back home because you know it's so nostalgic, you know what I mean? You start to get all these memories from the past and you see all these places you used to go and the places you used to be, you know, in the streets that you used to drive on and all these memories start coming back, right? So, you know, going home is cool, you know, in that sense. It's, it's somewhat, you know, emotional, but not really like in a whoa way. It's just, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? So I always enjoy going home, checking in, getting regrounded, kind of like resetting, if you will. That's been like what it's like for me. Helps me develop a new appreciation for where I come from, also where I'm at in life right now. So tie all this together in the video, bro. If you're at, you know, a place in your life where, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty or you're kind of like at a crossroad or what is it, a crossroad, you don't really know where to go or what to do. Just keep up the good work, bro. Keep on going, wake up, do it again, try again. If you don't get it this time, get it the next time. You're not, you know, failure is, is not, failure is not, you know, an option, you know, unless you make it one. You don't have to fail. You can just be temporarily defeated and keep on trying. If you fail, you know, and then you decide to quit, then you're a failure. But just don't quit and you're not a failure. Therefore, you didn't fail. You proceed, uh, persisted and proceeded. So, a few other things I got from the source book. I'm telling you, I've been connected with nature, but you can see me. Bro, in New York, there was so much energy. There was so much green energy. That even, honestly, in California, this is probably one of my favorite spots right now. Shit, I'm, I'm right back here. Bro, like, I love California. Like, you know I love Cali. Who doesn't love Cali? It's a beautiful place. It's magical. I mean, look around. But 
at the same time, bro. I really never looked at, cause I went back to my home city. I went back to Rochester, New York, and I, it's not even like it. That's a beautiful, that beautiful place. What's up, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. You feel me? Anyways, it's not even like, uh, you know, that it's that great of a place or whatever, but the truth is, you know, growing up and on my journey, I never really took into account how wonderful the area is, you know, that I'm from. I kind of never gave it a chance, you could say, because here's the reason. My whole life I was going through school, right? I mean, that's cool, whatever. I, and, and don't get me wrong, I had a good time. I enjoyed my life, enjoyed my city. I know a lot about it, and I did a lot of things, but essentially as an adult i'm developing again a new appreciation for it almost a new perspective and i hope this happens for you and maybe it will where now that i went back it's been some time about a year since i went back um it's it's really just you know almost like brand new to me because i'm a new person so i look at things differently right and i see how much potential there actually is i mean yeah i still see you know certain things that you know i remember or whatever um, and certain things that trigger me that remind me why I decided to move out and go different places. But at the same time, I can see things differently and, and with a new eye, um, which is enlightening, right? Because now I'm understanding like, wow, okay. So there is more than what initially I thought met the eye, right? So going back to the city you know, that I'm from was cool because there was so much that I never really noticed, right? That I noticed this time around, like the nature, the greenery, like the different types of buildings um the types of people the store layouts i mean there was just small things and some of it you know trivial some of it pretty much tremendous but again it's, it's just beautiful man it's just constant reminder that you just have to love your life you have to be appreciative of everything in your life going on you know whatever it is you're going through if it's you know good or bad just accept it you know it's gonna pass you know so just stay level-headed and stay clear-minded you know, some more epiphanies that I got. And actually, I just, I just had a, uh, a massage the day and I had some awesome divine interventions. If you guys haven't gotten massage lately, do yourself a favor, go get a massage with a good and open mind and go into it with just the intention to clear your mind and release anything that no longer serves you, release any tension and, and negative energy, right? Dude, that is a life hack. The C4 has got me hyped up. Shout out to C4. Anyways, um, I'm thinking if there's anything else that I want to share with you before I close out this video. You know, basically figure out your purpose. You know, figure out what it is you want to do. You know, find out who you are, what you're meant to be, and what you're meant to do, right? That's a huge part of about life. And if you figure that out, you'll love yourself. You'll love your life more. So work on that, you know, even if you got to take the time to just literally just sit in a room and meditate on it, figure out what you want to do, who you want to become, and then start doing that, start becoming that. Um, yeah, I mean, life is good, life is beautiful, life is what you make it. Cherish your loved ones. Um, you never know when they're going to be gone. You never know, you know, when's the last time you're going to see somebody. So always spread love, spread kindness treat people how you want to be treated you know give people the benefit of the doubt understand that people are going through things that you don't know about so always be sensitive and compassionate and empathetic and tolerant of other people just love people try to see the good in people try to want to help people no matter who they are where they come from what they look like what their background is what their skin color is their age doesn't matter man just be positive you know what i mean and talk to people don't be afraid don't be afraid to, you know, express yourself. Don't be afraid to speak out. Don't be afraid to connect or introduce yourself or talk to strangers. You know, I mean, obviously, it's it's, it's kind of scary that there are, that there are, no, I'm not scary, but you get what I'm saying? There are crazy people on this planet. There are bad people on this planet. Bad, however you want to look at it. The people who don't do positive things, people who don't speak positive, the people who don't have good intentions. Watch out for them, though. Protect your energy, bro. Protect yourself. Protect your family. You know, make sure that you're good. Make sure that your family is good. Make sure your loved ones are good. Again, be you know there for them when when necessary but you don't always have to be there for your family physically but just you know if as long as they're good and they're not wanting you know and they're happy and they're feeling safe and secure and they have you know what they need in life 
it's okay for you to go out and try different things and go different places and not, again, physically be there. Too many of you guys are too tied to your family or your friends or your jobs or whatever the case may be that you don't go anywhere else or you don't spread your wings and grow. I believe it's your sole purpose to grow. And sometimes that means sacrificing or leaving certain places or things or people, even if it's just temporarily. You know, you can always hopefully come back or reestablish connections, right? So keep that in mind. Do your best, man, every single day. Don't waste time. Quit procrastinating. Whatever you have to get done, get it done. Like, stop being like, oh, wait, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, you know, waiting to do, putting off, doing, should do, that you're not doing because you watch this video. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Start doing things. You'll be amazed by what you can accomplish in a day. Like, how much you can accomplish in just a day if you take action right now and then start doing things. It's a domino effect. One thing will lead to another and you'll be happy with yourself and you'll feel productive and then you'll sleep better and you'll wake up motivated and it becomes a cycle. Create new habits, create positive habits. You know, oh, one other thing, dude. Dude, please, constantly learn. Learn, 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 learn. Like, I have a... Bro, you are a limitless being. Your brain, you are so... You don't even understand this. Some of us don't understand this. It took me a minute to understand this. You are all-knowing. You have all knowledge. You have all the power. You are an extension of God. You are an extension of source energy. You are seriously a spiritual extension. Therefore, you, again, are all-knowing and all mighty, just like God. I mean, you know, I'm not saying you are God, but you have everything that God is within you. Therefore, you can learn whatever you want. You can become whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. The whole concept here is embrace that power. Embrace that fact that you are a human being. It's a spiritual experience, man. It's a human experience. It's, a spirit. it's, 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 it's just beautiful. It's pure blissful. It's absolute magic. And I know you guys know that's magic. I'm taking the video off the phone on my iPhone. I'm going to post it on this world wide web through the internet. And it's going to be able to be seen and viewed from people all over the world. Even then they can watch it again and again and again. And it's, it just blows my mind. We take all this for granted. You guys, we are in the digital age. It's a digital age, bro. If you don't see what's going on, you need to wake up. You need to take off your blinders, okay? We're living in the matrix, bro. There's a lot of crazy things going on. I need you guys to stay conscious and understand that you are seriously a conscious creator of your environment. Don't let the world shape you, shape the world. Don't let the world change you, you change the world. You know what I'm saying? Don't let life control you, control your life. That being said, Again, learn. I'm on a lifelong journey to learn as much as I possibly can. Because as long as I'm learning things, and as long as you're learning things, and as long as we're learning things, we're growing. Learn about anything, everything. Just keep learning. It could be the most random things. Just learn it. Or it could be something very specific and strategic. Learn it. Just learn. Keep learning. You should start to learn right now. You should love to learn. Fall in love with learning about yourself, the world, people, topics, trends things you're interested about things you never even thought about know about whatever the case is learn 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 and on that note man check out all my social media and links down below you know my book is out new you now guide to amazing improvement make sure you cop that it's on amazon it's a great book make sure you guys check out all of my sponsors down below my link tree you know what i'm saying and this video helps you make sure you hit that like button it really uh, matters to me and i appreciate that comment below what else you want to know make sure the post notification bell is also turned on so you don't miss anything coming up in the future if you haven't already subscribed subscribe if you've been tuned in you already know the vibe as always stay happy healthy wealthy blessed and focused on success and when you see me drop another video you already know what to do man tap in you know the vibes peace